Hi friends, welcome to my channel testinganswers.com and my name is Deepak Singh. Today we will learn the different uh, uh, that uh, locator techniques in a plane mode. Okay. Okay friends, let's start. So here in this tutorial we will learn the locator technique and for locating technique we will use the tool fire bug okay okay so i will explain how to you install the fire bug and fire path and how you will use it okay. so first you will open your firefox browser Okay, then go in a tool option, click on add on. This way, menu will appear. Okay, and then in a extensions option. Okay, now here you search for the add ons. The first option is Firebug. Okay, the option will appear. Now we will choose the first option, this firebug. You will remember this icon of this firebug. Now click on install. Okay, it's installed. So here you can see that one icon will appear on this page. Just click on this. Okay, this window will appear. This means minimal window. You can see here the console option, HTML, CSS. These all are the options are available here. Okay, so we can install the second tool, Fire Path. search it with the fire path this way and I think there has a no space between the fire and the path I will search like that ok now you find the result fire path this first option is here I will install this ok the started now I click on the restart now because for affecting the changes we need to restart the browser it will take a few seconds ok now window will appear now click on the icon again on the firebox icon look at here this time this new option will appear the fire path ok so we use this tool to locate the uh, the element web element uh, path unique identification path ok like I will show give you the one example just open the google google.com open this firebug window click on the firebug this window will appear now click on this selector ok you want to enter a text for a searching in a google you need to enter a text in a this text box so how to identify because here we have a lot of the elements like this hyperlink with the name gmail hyperlink images a button sign in the menu this image okay this text box these two buttons google search and i'm feeling nothing lucky all these are the 
presents here so how to identify especially for this text box to identify we we gave the location of this text box a unique location okay so for selecting this unique location i will select this locator and click on this look at here this is the path okay this path is called as a x path of that text box x path means xml path okay i will explain later the x path and all those options are present here like a css i will show you these options x path css video i will explain later in the later video but now you will understand this x path how to identify it okay so i gave you one example put a entry in this x box by using this x path okay i will give you i will show you it copy this okay now open uh, that eclipse your eclipse open it and create a one class in com dot sh so package under selenium db project so right click on this go in a main menu and click on class for creating a class okay this window will appear now give the name of the class use sorry use of x path okay now select the public void method and click on finish okay this window will appear the class window of the use of x path class so first we will declare uh, object of a firefox browser i think you know how to do but if you don't know i will explain let's see so first be before defining we have a uh, some keyword okay so for so first one we give the type of the object the type is web driver okay web driver is the type of the driver and now the name of the driver is web driver o web driver i give the name as o okay equals to new new is the operator who will assigning the space in a key for this driver uh, sorry for this object okay and the firefox class firefox driver class so this is the declaration of the object now i use this object to op to op uh, to get our url the google.com url is google.com okay so how we do that object o web driver o web driver dot get and the url is what do you want to get google.com okay okay now i declare i would i mention the url of that that is window uh, that application that uh, google.com okay now i gave the some weight i'm just waiting for app that uh, on the page that uh, text box is appear so how to is this uh, driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit weight implicitly weight i will explain later how to we use just here you know we use this i gave the 20 second here in the argument 0 we gave the time how much you want okay okay now in the argument one we give the unit of that argument zero means we give the 
how you understand this sir 20 second millisecond or 20 hours so i will give the uh, time unit for this for uh, in argument one section okay so i will write like that time unit question mark question mark question mark okay time unit dot here you say you see that uh, 20 days 20 hours 20 millisecond microsecond everything is here I just i take i just check it okay i declare this i declare this value as a 20 seconds okay now i in i wait for the 20 seconds now when the text box will appear then i will enter the value of answer key the value how do i give that look at here go web driver dot find element okay find element and the element is how to find by dot x bar x bar because i copied it and uh, in the detail i will explain in the my second video okay now you just this is for your understanding uh, we copied that x part from that uh, look from that location just i you i am showing you how to you use in your code okay now save your code and run okay uh, now i forgot the one thing we are using the selenium 3.0 so we need to declare the driver gecko driver property okay i think you know if you don't know then you can see my previous videos in my previous video i already explained how to you can use here uh, i i give the brief description here the system dot set property property of the gecko driver and the gecko driver is web driver dot gecko dot driver and this is the location of the driver absolute location of the driver okay if you don't know uh, why we use this so please you i recommend you please see check my previous videos okay now right click and run and we check now this uh, we are able to uh, just a minute i forgot the one more thing here we find the element but we not mention what we want to enter so here just i click on this in my this last okay so here I just mention send keys send keys we use if you want to enter any value in uh, text box then we use the send keys keyboard so I mentioned testing answers dot com okay I want to search testing answers dot com okay okay now give the send keys as a testing answers okay. here I will exp explain again the web our object and try to find an element by using the keyword xpath and I show you in the tool in the firework tool how to I select the text box uh, xpath and then I use the send keys for entering the data in a text box and the data is testing answers okay now save your program and run and check is this working or not okay now the url is open just wait yes it's open now you have seen that uh, is successfully update uh, type that uh, our keyword testing answers dot com okay friends I think your doubt is clear to how to use that uh, locator in Firefox so now I have to go thank you thank you for watching this video please like comment and 
don't forget to subscribe thank you